Hi Pisces, I'm back with another reading for you because we missed last week's reading to be honest. So we're going to find some messages for you Pisces. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot getting some messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. So let's see what's most dominant in your energy. We're going to look at your reading, your, I feel like doing your career reading for the month of June. I feel like in June you'll definitely be focusing on your career, your money, your business. Hmm, there you go. Stability, foundation, boundaries intact. We have the Eight of Pentacles here, definitely focusing on your money. So maybe you do have love offerings coming in, Pisces, but I feel like at this moment you're like on hold. Maybe you have a going through a bit of a broken heart situation here with the Nine of Swords. And then we have the Jack of Swords energy. Maybe you're really going, you're introspecting, maybe you're blocking, maybe you're really standing up for yourself in this time. Trusting in your intuition, Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Look at that blocking again. And this could be blocking a love connection or a business. The Hierophant wants to come out. Um, that could be a marriage. <laughs> Anything that has to do with traditional lifestyle. Or maybe you're one that's not into traditional lifestyle right now. Maybe you want something different. Something more passionate. You're desiring something else. Some of you could be desiring to move. To move away. To relocate. Move out some energy. Alright. So maybe wanting to start a business with the Hierophant card here. Also. Pisces. That's coming up for you in June. For the month of June. And this is your career reading. <clears throat> so thank you so much for being here, Pisces. And I do hope you find messages here that resonate with you. Wow, look at that. The Two of Swords energy. Okay, the cards are too far. The Two of Swords is back again. And I feel it is really saying you're like you're focusing more, more internally right now. That's what I'm getting. You're trusting in your intuition. Maybe some of you are just alone. Maybe you're living alone. Just taking time for solace, for healing. I feel something to do with completion. Maybe that's integration, reintegrating your different aspects of yourself. This could be working with childhood traumas and so on. Things, energy blocks that need to be cleared up. Wow, I look at that. The High Priestess card. The card of intuition. Higher intelligence, also very mysterious, very, very um, insightful. This is like a witch's energy, like almost that energy, like a, someone who is very secretive also, right? So you have this, this sense of higher magic, of higher purpose. And I just felt like maybe you don't know how to use it, how to garner it properly. So you're really probably taking the time to focus on that. Mm -mm, you have the world card. I feel like you have a lot coming up for you. A lot of things are a lot of brand new beginnings. Some of you may want to move. I feel like maybe relocate your business or maybe your business is going to, your job is going to ask you to relocate. Well, look at that moving, relocating, shifting, maybe shifting. I feel like shifting your focus more on really following your heart on this journey, your heart, like allowing your heart to lead you on this journey. I feel a bit of um, the alchemist energy here where the alchemist was on his journey. I feel like this shepherd energy out in the moonlight. That's the energy I'm feeling here. There's on a soul path, a soul mission. If you've read the book, The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho, you understand, you get to understand what I mean when, you know, someone goes off to follow their heart to fulfill their own mission. Sometimes you have to leave behind friends, family, jobs, and just trust in your, your heart, trust in your intuition. So I feel like maybe you're, that, I feel like maybe that's what you're maybe struggling with 
leaving picking up starting over maybe some of you want to relocate to a different country traveling the world but maybe you're wondering thinking considering your family or friends here let's see what you hope for your highest hopes the judgment card well wow, powerful readings i feel like maybe you're basing your decision upon someone else's opinions here like you could be wondering what other people are thinking or feeling before you make this decision forward even though you do know what to do i feel like you do know what to do maybe you're waiting for approval approval from others like for someone else to say yeah it's okay for you to go if you want to go we're going to be okay as if you just want to know that the people or situations that you're leaving behind you will be okay you want that assurance because of course pisces are very emotional very caring and i feel like you just want to know that everyone will be able to fend for themselves while you're not there so maybe you did feel like you're one that had to really look out for everyone emotionally as well to be an emotional support for some people maybe you want to retire you know to leave a job or some situation like that and you're really wondering how others around you will feel but I feel like with the judgment card here, Pisces, it's saying you're going, it's going to be okay when you're honest here. Just be authentic with how you're truly feeling and trust that others will be able to understand what you're going through because we are all humans, right? With the judgment card here, let's see what is coming up for you in your future. Oh, the page of cups. So maybe you really you want to follow your heart. Maybe you feel like your destiny is to go after a particular person um or a particular type of career that in, in involves you using your emotions or your spiritual abilities maybe you want to go and further your education or you know deepen your spiritual practices here with the eight of cups and the page of cups the fish represents spirituality so i feel like you're you feel like you're at a place where you could maybe evolve more spiritually. Maybe that's what this is saying. And you want to go on maybe a retreat. This feels like also um, to really see what's to see what's really in store for you on a deeper level. Some of you could be dealing with a, um, a, air, a fire sign, pardon me. And that is Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. It could be a mother figure here. It could be someone that you're in a relationship with. Or this could be your passion and your desire to really follow your heart forward but not really sure how to go maybe not sure how to leave your business or this could be you really looking forward to starting a new business and maybe for some of you this is also go you going on a journey of healing because we do have the nine of swords card over here from way earlier so it could be healing that you're going you're going after this some giving something to yourself some of you could definitely someone coming in to you and this could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius and this could be an offering of love that you may have put on hold for a while but now it's coming into your world or maybe you're ready to pack up and go into its world oh my goodness in your world the queen of cups energy here so i feel like this could be uh maybe you're ready to go home to retire to be with your wife and your children to be with your family this could be some of you wanting to really come into that wholesome space within yourself, loving on yourself, being emotionally grounded and mature. So we have two queens here, the queen of wands and the queen of cups energy here. I feel like there's something coming up for you to celebrate soon with this movement that's taking place for you. Oh, we do also have the queen of swords. So I feel like you're definitely graduating. You're going through different phases of your life. It feels like trial and error, testing new things. But I feel like right now you're hoping to really um, be stable. As if you have your financially secure because your business is already established and it's bringing in your business is one that has been around for a long time. I feel it's that energy. And so maybe you're ready to settle down in that sense, maybe retire or some of you are ready to start a family. Okay. The queen of cups energy here is your energy Pisces cancer Scorpio or this could be a cancerian energy that's maybe looking to see you. I feel like some of you are wanting to start maybe writing a book, start up a, a publishing business. That's the energy I'm getting also. Someone that wants their ideas to probably come out on paper. That's the energy I'm feeling to be more settled. Let's see what your hopes and fears are here. 
the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is for me glowing up inside out looking good taking charge taking care of yourself manifesting wealth health strength vigor prosperity having a stable income the nine of pentacles is also feeling like being single just alone enjoying your own company your own space so maybe you could be dreaming up wishing off this energy where you're able to really spend time with yourself possibly in a garden for some of you if you like well i'm assuming well i do know pisces like nature a lot water earth trees all of these beautiful things that are, are animals and creatures found in nature so maybe some of you are wanting to really spend some time bask in nature and see if you can really um dream up stories i feel like you're very creative and you'd like to have that breather to really start designing some kind of a book or designing your own lifestyle and it's something that's going to make you feel good it's like um working on an, a business working on a project that is going to be you as i said it's like a book also shifting out of the nine of swords energy of you know being hurt being betrayed being lost feeling trapped and all of that and moving into the nine of pentacles energy where you feel more free more glowing and more release and now we're going to see what's coming up let's see what's your outcome we have the ace of swords that came out in the reverse and maybe things are taking their time to come in for you maybe this change is taking its time to really come into fruition for you here with the page of swords that came out in reversal the page of swords is a card that feels like something is coming in swiftly it's also sharpness like mental sharpness you know like wittiness it's like also i feel it's even though this is a an air sign gemini libra aquarius it feels like virgo energy as well combined with the nine of pentacles it feels like being sharp in business being very um diplomatic knowing how to reason knowing how to draw ideas quickly being sensible sensible thinking okay something coming into you swiftly here and it could be of love but i really feel wisdom i feel knowledge here victory success prosperity here coming in for you in the end and we remember that we started out with a two so i feel like whatever like i feel like you you maybe took a break to really direct to focus on something in particular and you're going to achieve it because i feel like you you know how to really focus you know that energy and this could be someone coming into you for those of you who want to feel out if it's a person and this person could be gemini libra aquarius and that's moving into you swiftly and if you want to know what they're going to bring it could be a brand new beginning for you here a new business a new sense of self new stability oh definitely things are coming in for you with the chariot card movement acquisition i feel like ownership and prosperity here and this is all that is coming into you abundance something is coming clear it's coming true maybe it's a vision a dream is being realized by you yes maybe an I, a dream could be like a literal dream that you have a dream could be a vision that you put together of your life and it's actually appearing it's manifesting that's what it feels like and it's coming in through swiftly because i feel like you are you know how to design your visions how to visualize oh how to visualize that's the energy i'm getting you're very sharp right and so i feel like you're manifesting some of you could be wanting to get married but this could also just be you being in your state of desiring a brand new experience or wanting some experience that you're not you're not um yet aligned with you're not yet there it's not yet accomplished it could be something having to do some with something you're um passionate about here something you design something creative a manifestation this could be a union between two people who think feel and act the same way have the same amount of desires toward each other fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius let's see what we should clarify any messages for pisces here so what a whole lot of beautiful things coming up in your month ahead some of you could definitely be traveling i feel like maybe someone traveling into you look at this this line here here this is the queen of wands the world card and the like the piscean energy right here as if you see someone traveling into you 
it's as if you guys made a mental connection to really travel to each other or an agreement that one person will travel to the other so yeah you could definitely be connecting with a fire sign here ready as if ready maybe ready to love to let your guard down to start dating again perhaps hmm any other messages for pisces out here <laughs> ready i feel like ready ready for new experiences ah because the reading i did for you earlier i was saying maybe you weren't ready to go towards someone as if you were taking ah and it was a fire sign as if you were taking your time um, I feel like you were in some kind of a illusion of self-worth as if something is holding you back. But now I feel like you're ready to move. You're reassessing. You're looking at your life. You're looking at your accomplishments. And you're gaining your confidence again. You're looking at all that you have worked for and have achieved. And your confidence is back for you here with the, with the King of Pentacles. So you feel good. Um, you were taking a break, but I feel like, no, this offer that you may be receiving an offer, um, but it, maybe this one is good. <laughs> you know, with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck here, Pisces, this could be just an abundance of love coming into you. So be careful of not receiving it well. I, as I said, I feel like something is coming into your world. This could also be you wanting to go out, offer your love to someone else. All right, that's it. That's what we have for you. Let's stop it here. Mm. I feel like sometimes you feel afraid of doing so, of like letting people in your heart space again. Any other messages for Pisces? But you want to experience love as if you understand the thrill of love, having desires and having that passionate, intimate connection with someone. You want that. Oh, look at this, the king. You definitely want this connection so now we have the mates here the king and queen of cups on the board we have the ten of cups energy wanting that brand new beginning with the ace of pentacles all coming up for you in this month so look forward to also moving past the five of cups energy the four of cups is feeling a bit stuck um, being contemplative, maybe holding on to certain thoughts and feelings, and just being in your own energy, sometimes being stubborn. We all have a right to just be stuck up if we want to in our heart space, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just taking that time to reassess, okay? But I feel like when you when you get to the five Pisces, it's you're ready for that change. So even though yes, you might be looking at what you've lost or something that hurts you, because this nine of swords energy is repeating itself here. And it is in the reverse, so I feel like something is ending. Moving from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords, something is ending and a brand new beginning is about to come into you here. You could definitely be aligning with a soulmate energy, someone that's really good for you. Once you begin to really tap back into your sense of value again and start moving forward. Start allowing things, people, situations to really and, um, approach you, come into your life. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I do hope that there were messages here that resonate with you and are able to help you along your journey. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this reading, please consider giving my video a thumbs up. Much appreciated. And subscribe to my channel to partake or to, par to, to be a part of this journey with me. Yes. Thank you so much. Much love to you. Appreciate all the support for the information in the description box below this video. And I'll catch you next time in another awesome reading, Pisces. Take care. Much love. Bye.